welcome. So often here we talk about the question, how to make life better, how we can live a more beautiful, more harmonious, happier life. And so much of that comes down to the question, who am I and what choices do I make? And life is full of those choices. But right now, I'd like to talk about something that we've talked about before, which is focusing on the, the first time an emotion appears. And the first time it appears is when you might have control over it, or at least can see where it's leading you. So often these things come and go, but if you focus on them, you can see more of how you work. And that's important, that's a good tool for changing your life and making it better. And here's another little tip. When things happen, try to respond to them positively. Because so often when we encounter change or the unexpected, our response is instinctively to wonder, is this a threat? Am I going to be all right? What does this mean? But see if you can, in fact, change your first response to one that is positive and open and welcoming. I had a great exposure to this very recently by um, incident where I was at a friend's house and there was a tennis game on television and I noticed that the young woman who was playing tennis made a particularly horrible shot which was clear to everybody and her response to it was to smile. To smile. What a wonderful response because in doing that it abandons all of the expectations and concern for the moment and puts her, you, me, at that moment in the right frame of mind to go ahead and make the next step, make the next move, make the next play, do the next thing without being constrained by all of the expectations and worry and fear that, that has brought us to the point of maybe wondering if we're going to perform well or not. But regardless of what happens, if you can smile about it, that will change things, really. Smiling, as it turns out, brings out a cascade of neurotransmitters in the brain. There's a lot of research on this. And just the act of smiling can actually make one different and be more positive and really be more cheerful. It's, it sounds absurd, but it's not really. We've heard a lot for a long time about psychosomatic illnesses. People aren't really sick, they just think they're sick. But the opposite is true too, a, a somatopsychic response. And our bodies can determine, as we really know if we think about it, so much of our emotional response to life and to the world. Smiling is one of those things. Smiling produces a cascade of neurotransmitters. There's a, a, a British study that indicates that one smile will produce as much positive neurotransmitters as 2,000 bars of chocolate. That's what's reported. I don't know that study, but that's what was reported. In any event, smiling is a wonderful response to the world around you because it leaves everything in a positive and neutral position. It's a tool you can use, really. It sounds simple, it is simple. When things don't go the way you expect, try to smile. It really, really, really will make things different, really.